All right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So it's been a little less than a week since I landed my first ever cork with the swing leg. So uh, yeah, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I had a good session the other day. Um, I've been throwing some corks with swing legs for the past few days now. Starting to feel a little more comfortable. So uh, yeah, today we're gonna try to land cork swing through cork, baby. Now I have no idea if I'm actually gonna be able to do that or not. Cork swing anything at this point would be great. Even if I can just chuck it into like a gainer or something and then even if I put my hands down, I don't care. I just want to practice cork swings, hopefully land something cool. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. God, man, I am so annoyed right now. I can't believe how close I just got to cork swing through cork, guys. Oh my God. I was like literally this freaking close to landing it. Whew. All right, so a lot to break apart here. Uh, I'm just gonna keep this part kind of short, but wow. So a couple things to go over here. First of all, this was the first day that I've ever attempted to swing anything out of a corkscrew. Now, if you guys watched my previous two videos, I kind of threw some cork swing stuff in there, but never actually committed to sending anything out of it. So <laughs> I don't really know exactly what I was thinking. I was like just messing around with the idea. I never fully committed to the corkscrew, which I think is the big thing, like why it didn't land it. I just never actually committed like 100% to the corkscrew. All right, guys, future Matt just popping in here real quick. This is the next day that I'm recording this because uh, at this point right now, what you just watched, uh, I had not actually watched the footage from today's session or yesterday's session so uh yeah i just want to give him a quick interjection here and then i'll get back to my previous self so basically i was over rotating and i did not realize any of that was happening so uh yeah right here i almost landed cork swing through double cork did not know that i thought that i had just been under rotating i thought i only been doing a half twist which is why I kept facing like away from the camera, like the opposite direction. And so I was like getting really frustrated. And I was like, all right, fine. I'm just not throwing hard enough because I'm only rotating a half turn. So I needed to like throw it even harder. So then I did, but it really, I was throwing one and a half the whole time, not a half. And I didn't know that. So then I threw it really hard and almost landed corkscrewing through dub. So I don't know what the hell that was. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I really want to start learning some other tricks. So cork swing through cheat gainer because I think that's going to help really get myself oriented a little bit better, um, you know, controlling my twisting. I need to focus on not over twisting next time, that's for sure. So cork swing through cheat gainer. I also want to do cheat gainer swing through cork, which I have never done. I've obviously done cheat gainer swing through cheat gainer a bunch of times, but still need to get gainer cork. And then obviously we're going to attempt cork cork again. And then later this year, honestly, didn't think this was a possibility until just now, but uh, 
We're trying to learn corkscrewing through double cork, baby. That's gonna be a crazy learn. If I can get that by the end of the year, like, mind blown. So anyways, I'm gonna take you guys back to past Matt and let him finish out the video. Deuces. So what I would do is, when I finally psyched myself up to do it, I just landed the first cork, and I waited too long, obviously, and then just threw, like, something out of it. So, like, the first couple things were just really slow, like, flips with, like, kind of a twist, not really anything to look at. And then, I mean, I did end up throwing some more corkscrew-like attempts, which uh, you guys saw, I obviously never made it around to my feet, but the one attempt I actually felt not bad because my heels hit the ground and I think I ended up facing the direction of the camera too. So I basically got around, I just didn't land it. But yeah, wow, actually making some good swing progress. I think next time I'm gonna try throwing a cork swing through cheek gainer first. See how that goes, I've never done it. I've also never done cheek gainer swing through cork. But I feel like that's gonna have a similar outcome to today because I don't really know how to swing a twist. Like I can swing a flip. You guys have seen me swing, you know, cheek gainer, swing through cheek gainer multiple times, stuff like that. The twisting is different because then you have to figure out, all right, when do I switch from the flip to the twist? Like I don't want to cut my height short, but also I want to make sure I get the twist around. So it's just a mess. But yeah, so make sure to follow me on Instagram for daily content. You can also follow my business account, Ninjatic Athletics. This is on Instagram as well. And speaking of that, guys, we're getting in some merch and some really cool stuff within the next week. So you guys are going to see it go live on the Instagram account. I'm already, like, sneak peeking some items. So if you guys want to see all that, make sure to go give it a follow because, uh, yeah, I've got some really great stuff coming out. As always, uh, links in the description for online coaching and programs, stuff like that. We're going to be adding a lot more links in the description at the end of the month. So uh, make sure you guys go check out those Instagram accounts. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.